Hello everyone, welcome back. And today we're gonna to talk about a uh, really nice variety that can be found in uh, specifically your quarters. I would say pocket change, but if you're gonna look for anything, add this one to your bucket list. And you know what, you're gonna come away with a coin that's gonna be worth a lot of money. And uh, what we're dealing with here, okay, is a 1971D. Okay, the important thing is it's, it's a Denver minted coin. So you want to make sure you keep that in, uh, in mind. It's a Denver minted quarter. Okay, nothing fancy about it. Um, as you can see, this coin here on screen looks like it's uh, had its fair share of um, beatdowns and, uh, you know, just regular everyday spending, commerce, and, um, you know, uh, it looks like it shouldn't be no more than a quarter. And, and as a matter of fact, it looks like every other beater in pocket change today. But what if I told you that this particular coin right here, this one on screen, sold for a few dollars shy of $1,100? You guys would never believe me. Oh, but there's more. Let me tell you why this coin sold for this kind of money. All right, this particular coin right here has a double die reverse die variety. Okay, and it's uh, upon closer examination, as what you could see right here, the coin exhibits extremely wild spreads, okay? I, I would say that if you had a five times magnifier, you'd be able to see this really easily. Um, it's almost naked eye visible, but to be absolutely sure, I would certainly have a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop handy in the event that you did find something like this, just to confirm. Now, the diagnostics is unmistakable, okay? And it mostly affects all of the lettering on the reverse around the perimeter so united states of america there's some of that doubling on quarter dollar and e pluribus unum okay so those are the things that you're going to want to look at to help identify this particular variety now it is a cherry picker's guide variety okay it's highlighted in there as being one of the more impressive more sought after clad Washington quarters. Okay, that's kind of hard pill to swallow because there's a lot of quarters we really don't care too much about past 1964 when was the last date that silver was used in a sort of coinage, especially the 90% composition. So this coin right here trumps all of that. You know, it sells for over a thousand dollars. And here's the kicker. Okay, go ahead and take a look at this informational sheet that I have here posted on this video and this is going to be the last reported known sale of this coin that's how tough it is the last one ever sold was in 2012 through heritage auctions okay a thousand and ninety two dollars and fifty cents and as you can see it's a rather pedestrian grade at xf40 by pcgs but that's that's where the variety comes into play okay all it takes is some doubling or a repunchment mark or you know a funky error to make a coin that traditionally people would pass over and spend again which this one has been uh into something that could you know pay your bills for a month or pay your mortgage or rent okay it's kind of a huge deal and how do we get started it's real easy uh you know you, you have to go through a bunch of quarters to have a real chance of finding something like this. And this is one of those particular varieties that's remained largely unlooked for, um, unless you have the cherry picker's guide, because it occurs on a date that's so widely circulated that nobody really ever cares to look it through. Um, I've been looking for a number of years. I've been largely unsuccessful because it is that rare. There is probably a few hundred known in existence. So that's what we're talking about. That's what's at stake. But if you guys are feeling pretty uh, pretty lucky, man, try your hand at uh, searching quarters. Uh, there's a lot of double dies. This is one such example. I will talk about a lot more of them in the future. But if you like today's content, go ahead and hit the like button. Give me a huge thumbs up. I appreciate it. And feel free to subscribe to Blue Ridge Silverhound. If you haven't done so already, you'll gain access to all the newest tips and tricks and advice on coin collecting, coin roll hunting, the silver market, and a few other things too. It's really a lot of fun. 
So I thank you guys for joining in on this one. And as always, keep hunting, keep stacking, and I'll check you back later. See ya.